Okay, this is part 14 of my uh, Let's Build an Assassin Archer. Let's play, whatever you want to call it these days. Um, set to Master. I'm not really on a quest. Oh, actually, I am. I'm investigating these ruins of a name I cannot pronounce. And I'm not even going to try. Um, but basically, this picks up exactly where I left off in the last episode. I'm actually chasing a bow, um, a dwarven bow called Zephyr. That I've heard about, been told about, read about on the internet, blah blah blah. I'm picking up exactly where I left off from the last episode, except I went down there and I cleaned up that chest, a few dead bodies, and some Dwemer automations that were uh, over there. So we're basically off. I can walk along that pole without falling off. Um, just check what I've actually got here. I want to make sure I've got a dagger in my left hand. And check what I got a hot feed. It's all good. Right, let's go. I haven't seen these. This is all new because it's part of the Dawn Guard expansion, so I haven't seen all this. I did look on the internet, to see what the bow was about, and I saw a picture of where the bow is in this dungeon, so I should be able to not miss it. But I didn't actually look um, at a playthrough or anything of this, so I'm seeing this new, which is what I really want. No use playing this game and. Um, and knowing what's happening, otherwise it's no fun. So we'll clean up these guys. Hopefully I can pick up some more of this dwarven stuff around here. I will try and clean up a fair bit of this because I don't really want to run back through this dungeon or I don't actually, more to the point is I don't know. That's what I want, more of this stuff so that I can make more dwarven ingots. I don't really want to, um, I don't know, what I mean is I don't know if I can actually run through this or I'm going to be spat out the other end somewhere different so I'll pick up bit of shit as I go along here and um, it's going to be fairly slow anyway and I'd probably like if I wasn't recording I'd go and search in that water because odds on there's something in that water to be found a chest or something to pick up off the bottom there but recording you need to sort of miss a bit of some of that stuff otherwise you just never get any quests done or get anywhere two and a half minutes in now and I've done nothing except talk okay let's get on with this quest. I have got to answer a couple of questions I got in PMs that were sort of hard to answer so how do I get through this freaking door? Stop swearing. Okay so that goes up the door opens. So I must, this is the switch. Um, you shoot the switch door. Yeah. Right let's go bow away, bow out to sneak faster. And I've got to explain that, that's one of the PMs I've got to explain. Um, third person's around the corner. Yeah, there's two... two farmer there by the look of them. So I'll see if I can put a shot on this guy, I've got one on him. Gonna be a two shot. And the other guy's coming, and I'll get a shot on him. He's a one shot, and I get a... sort of interesting kill cam on him. Um, gold, that's about it. I wouldn't mind picking up a farmer helmet so I can do the five uh, five bits of enchanted gear for uh, alchemy. So there's a farmer there. I didn't check behind me here, which could have got me killed. Nothing below me there. There's actually a chest over in the corner there, and a farmer here. Um, don't know if I'm, he's the only one, so I'll put an arrow there. Yeah, he's the only one that gets alerted by that arrow. See if I can put him over there. Third person, daggers. And see if I can stab this dude. Done. Alright, looks like I've got a bit of clear space here, so I'll answer the question that I got on a PM that was pretty hard to answer. You sneak faster if you put your weapon away and pull your weapon out. You sneak faster. So, normal sneak speed, pull your weapon out you sneak fast. If you're using a dagger in your right hand 
you need to have something in your other hand. Um, this question come off the back of the last let's kill where I was running around with a pickaxe in my left hand and the reason was is for the um, so I'm sneaking slow now if I put my weapons away pull my weapons out I sneak faster and it's exactly the same with the bow so I'm sneaking slowly I'm sneaking slowly now if I put the weapon away pull the weapon out I sneak faster again that's all it is. Um, I use that a lot when I'm actually, um, before I get silent roll, uh, before I take that Birkin sneak tree. And the other question I got that I really need to answer, which was hard to answer in a, in a PM, I'll show you here, is you're in third person. You're on the Xbox, this is. My right stick, the button that changes you, you push your right stick down and you change from first person to third person. If you're in third person, you push that down and you hold it down, then you take your left um, stick, you push it forward, you zoom in. If you pull it back, you zoom out. So you can change your angle of view in third person on the um, on the Xbox. Um, it's no real drama to do that. And that's how you do that. I mentioned that earlier and someone actually picked up that I didn't finish off the, the explanation on what I was doing. So that's it. So let's get on with this quest. Enough bullshit. There's a farmer up there. Let's get two shots on him. And go, get him, get him. Missed. Oh, he's a suicide farmer. Plenty of time, just wait on him. Make sure you make that second shot count in a, in a spot like that. Farm here, gold and arrow. That's it. Let's keep going. So we'll have farmer, I'd say... Oh, mushrooms. I need some mushrooms. We're going to have farmer popping out by the look of it. Cause that thing there that I'm looking at there, that's where the farmer come from. So, I'm expecting farmer. Yeah, and I'm getting farmer. Put an arrow up the back to try and... This guy's going to... Put him. I'll put an arrow up there quickly to try and get that guy to... The second guy to stay up there. He putting an arrow on the wall will distract him. And then stab him. There you fairly easy really. Gotta to remember to use your arrows for distraction. Okay, hey, let's move on. Let's get a bow out. I really want to take a good look around here, but I really want to get this done. Maybe I'll run back through. I'll actually will. I'll stop this. I'm looking around if I um, and I'll um, I'll run back through later. It's gonna take too long otherwise. I hate trying to pick up a glowing mushroom. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run through back here. Through a little, um. It's gonna take me too long to pick all this shit up. That's how you should be picking stuff up, not having to fight to try and pick up a glowing mushroom. They okay, put the bow away, pull the bow back out, to make faster. Earthquake. Okay, uh, I got a farmer and a charis. So I'm going to actually hit the Charis. I'm going to put a shot up there. Hopefully they... Charis will come to me. And the... Because I hit the, the Charis. The Charis will come to me. The farmer went to look at the arrow that hit the wall first up. And then when I shot the Charis again, the farmer actually looked to me. The way that sort of worked. Wow, 
that's the quickest I've ever picked up any swarm, any blowing mushroom two in a row first go. Hey, are we going to get a farmer drop out of these holes somewhere? Yep. Oh, he's going to sit and look over the edge. I'm going to sneak on him and just stab him in the back. Blowing mushroom shouldn't be hard to be able to pick it up. No. Oh, I look. You know where you can go and get glowing mushroom. Don't worry about it. And hey, what do we got here? Uh, a couple of tents, a couple of things that farmer pop out of, and actually a farmer there and a charis. Way fairly close to me. I've still got room. I can retreat to. I'm going to put a shot on him. I reckon I can outgun these guys before they get to me. Easily. Oh. Charis has got two in his head and he's still running. And one in his ass. What the hell? Oh, it's just the roof caving in. Nothing to worry about. Look in this tent. There can't be anything here because I fired that many arrows and that would have chest. Take that stuff. Blowing mushroom, you sort of... Blowing mushroom's not a pretty good alchemy ingredient. Can't remember off the top of my head, it's either um, glowing mushroom is for smithing. I did remember off the top of my head. Oh, Charis eggs. Okay. Now I am going to collect ingredients just in case I can't run back through here easily. And I can hear a Charis and it's right in front of me. Fucking too busy collecting uh, ingredient there. I'm going to put shots on him. These are two shot kills by the look of it. I can get two on this guy before he gets to me. Oh, there's two of them. Where are you going? Come and kill me. Wuss. Two in the head and one in the ass, like his mate. Hey, okay. Harris. Don't really want chit and do want farmer eggs though. I have Charis eggs. Yeah, I nearly died then because I got excited about trying to collect bloody Charis eggs for invisibility potions. But a good haul of Charis eggs like this, sometimes you can there are a couple of places in Skyrim where you can go and get a hundred Charis eggs at a time, I suppose, and a hundred glowing mushrooms. And there's a lighthouse up the north there that um, you go and do the little side quest. Um, you'll finish up with uh, probably a hundred of each. Actually, I've calmed down now. I'm actually peeking corners before I look around them. Or I walk around them, rather. There's a chest there, and there's one of them things that the farmer pop out of, and there's a farmer popped out. What's he going to do? He's going to sit on the edge and scratch his ass. Oh, he's going to come to me. And I'm sort of jerky at the moment. This screen is really jerky at the moment. that uneven ground in here is really jerky screen because of the uneven ground there. That's my excuse anyway, so I'm just going to run away, change to my bow, go back into sneak mode, hopefully I've got, I can get some sneak on this guy there, there he is there. I'll put an arrow up there, if I've got any sneak whatsoever he'll go back to the arrow. I want to go back to the arrows. You are dumb. Remember? Doing yeah, he's gone back to the arrows now. Oh, eight Skyrim for that. 
Where I'm looking perfectly around a corner, but my arrow gets caught on all the shit there. Oh, and he's in shot after. All that is a one shot. That's not how you play Skyrim, that's uh, cocking around. Wasn't very clean at all. Okay, what do we got? We had a chest out here. We'll quickly take this chest. If it's got nothing in it, it's got nothing in it. So I'm not very happy. All that cocking around for a chest, nothing in it. So let's get back here and get back on this uh, path to the wherever the quest was taking. I picked up the chest. Did I? Did I pick up that chest or not? Yep. Armor here, Nordic Barnacle bonus. Another easy to pick up glowing mushroom and several that are very hard. Actually, one trick you can do is pull an arrow. Go to first person and you'll get a better look at what's there sometimes on the glowing mushrooms. Like, that is just ridiculously hard to pick up a glowing mushroom. Okay, I'm whinging too much about glowing mushrooms and not getting on with this quest. Okay, I remember this from the internet. I saw the picture of the bow, like, sitting out there on that, um, on that log. And that's the only thing I know about this quest other than I was coming to get a bow. So it'll be interesting to see what this bow does. That's hanging moss. Saw the episode on alchemy. I have a fascination with hanging moss. is a really good ingredient. I'll probably do something stupid like fall off here now. Yeah, go on, fall off. Just jumped. Okay. Um, where are we going? Up there. Let's look at this bow. That's why we're here. Weapon Zephyr. Hey, it looks like a dwarven bow. Looks exactly like a dwarven bow. Okay, well, uh, I won't play with that now. I'll, um, as soon as I get back to Whiterun or one of the main cities with a target in it, I'll run a test on it and see what it does. There's some hanging moss. Where am I going? I'm lost. 17 minutes down. Come on. Let's get through this dungeon in under 30. Make it one episode. I hate two episode dungeons. Okay, more hanging moss. It's hanging moss, but I probably won't be able to pick it up. It's just called desperation for hanging moss. Hanging moss there. I won't have to worry about many more ingredients soon. One more batch of, um, one more batch of enchanting, and another 30 minutes of enchanting, because I've got, still had a heap of ingredients left over from the last batch of enchanting. Um, so one more batch of enchanting will get me to 80. That's probably enough to just settle in for a while. The earth is shaking here for some reason. Now this looks interesting. Try a couple of arrows around this area and see if it alerts anyone. Nothing. Let's keep going. There's a couple of pods there the uh, farmer come out of. That thing's got a heap of them door opening triggers on it. That wall there. I'm sort of expecting something to jump out at me here. Um, oh, it's the ghost girl.
You know what this is? It's a lock. A tonal lock. Simple and very, very deadly. See the resonators up there? Strike them in the right order, and a door should open. Get it wrong, and, well, you've seen what happened when I tried it. Mm. Any advice? Well, you can pick up where I left off. My notes should still be in my journal, if you can read it. Beyond that, well, maybe one of our predecessors still has a clue. Okay, so her journal. I've got to have a look at her journal. I should have a hint of the solving of this puzzle. Dwarven bolts. Dwemer scrap metal, which I'm going to dump straight away because I will get hot on weight, and that'll be a heap of weight that I really don't want to be carrying. Oh, there are only two kilos. I don't know why, some, why I'm so paranoid about them. So we've got to solve a puzzle. We've got to shoot them, obviously, because they was the way we opened that door before so I'm guessing you shoot them things it said something about hints on their scrap paper okay so there's a clue to how we solve this puzzle I'll take that take his arrows oh there's a whole pile of dwarven arrows stuck in the ground here That skeleton's got one in his head. Oh, excuse me while I harvest dwarven arrows. At least they're easier to pick up than glowing bloody mushrooms. Okay. Um... So we've got her journal to read. Let's have a look at this thing here. So we got okay journal uh, books. Her journal. Okay, so bottom left is one. Bottom right is two. And the middle one on the bottom is not three. Okay. That scrap of paper tell me anything different. Okay, so that... So it's one. Two. That's it. Three. Keep going. And now we've got to guess. Now we've got to guess. So one, two, three. I reckon four's top right. And five's the middle if you follow the pattern. Well, that was easy. You only had a 50, you had a 50 50 chances to get that right, so. I guess I picked right. What have we got in here now? 24 minutes into an episode. Cool. Short dungeon. So this is it. Uh, hey, watch it. I'm trying to talk to you. Well, don't just You're a ghost anyway. How can I tread on your toe? Don't just stand there. I'm going to pick up this shit. Warven stuff. Heaps of dwarven stuff for making uh, dwarven ingots here. Leave is no good. Why is that glowing? I normally wouldn't pick that up, but it's glowing. 
I'm going to take it. There must be some reason you need it if I follow this quest line a bit further. And there's one of those dwarven bar things up there. And there's something else on this shelf top as well. A large strut, we'll take that. We can grab it. I got it. And then what's on this other shelf? Metal ingots. Large strut. That thing's glowing, so I'll take it with me. Decorative. That's good. There's another one of them metal bars there. Got a large plate, so we'll take them. Oh, there's a couple of chests here too. We'll take that shit. I'll take that shit. Chest at the back. This is a great dungeon, no lock picking. I'll take all of that and I'll pick up what this quest item is. So it is real. Okay. What was this? What, what is this? Hmm. Sorry, this is slow because I've never seen this, so I wanna this has been cut, precisely cut. If you had another piece about the same size, it would it would snap right in. I saw a drawing of this once. This shard. It's it's part of a key. A key made of Okay, one of my subs sent me a message about this. You can follow this quest line and finish up with something a uh, headpiece that gives you the ability to put two um four cities that worked on the forge. Put two, uh, have two standing stones active. Then what? We still have to find the forge itself. I had a lead on that too. Actually, this could be a quest, good quest line to follow if it keeps giving me Dwemer, the amount of Dwemer stuff that I can make into ingots for uh, increasing smithing. This might be a might be a good quest line to follow, actually. So. May actually be able to do this. To you. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Anytime. Okay, she's gone. That's it. We're out of here. Where are we going? And is shit gonna come out at me when I finish this? Nothing. If there's a walkway over there. Oh, poor skeleton stabbed in the guts with a big pole. Oh, now he's fallen to bits because I bumped him. Let me gold. Come on, get clowning around. Get on with it. Blowing mushrooms. Didn't want me to pick up for some reason. And I'm just running around aimlessly, not looking where I'm going, just trying to collect glowing fucking mushroom okay where are we oh well you have to be able to jump down there should I save or should I just jump I'm just gonna jump Ah! <laughs> All right, now I've got to do this whole dungeon again. <laughs> All right, I'll leave this episode here, um, and I've got to go and do this whole dungeon again because I didn't save anywhere through there. So I'll do this dungeon again, and I think I'm at the end. And if I am, I'll um, I'll see you on the outside. I'll pick this up straight outside of here, or I'll uh, go back to White Run and melt this shit down that I pick up. So...